Hello my dear students, my dear children. Congratulations for having passed class 11th and welcome to class 12th. I know for class 11th students, comma students, the year was little tough and challenging because the subjects like business studies, accountancy, major portion of economics that were introduced for the very first time and you had no idea about these subjects till class 10th. So the very basics, the very ABC of these subjects you have studied in class 11. And being the introduction, it was little boring, it was little monotonous, but you have made it all. So now you are here in class 12th, again a very challenging year in the life of every student. A year to build the strong foundation for your career, for your life. And students, not only this year, but next three, four years of your life, you know, are very, very crucial, very, very important. Because these are the years to build, to lay down the strong foundation for your future. And it's known to everyone that if you have a strong foundation, then you can build multi-story building a beautiful strong building on it so foundation is of course very very important and this year you will have to go through these two exams one is the class 12 cbsc board exam and another is cuet the central university examination test and last year it was introduced so not only getting good marks in class 12th is important to you but also to qualify this test is also become it becomes must it becomes important to you isn't it so now if you work hard and not only working hard if you work smart if you have consistency if you choose wisely if these things are taken care of believe me nobody can stop you to be successful in future you will comfort rest of your life if you take care of all these things in this year of your life clear so now in you know laying down the foundation base the question arises that how we can build a strong foundation base and the answer is really really simple the answer is that you should know that how to get the good marks in these exams and now the question is how to get the good marks in these exams answer is again very simple when you know that why it is important to get the good marks as i have told you right now it is important to get the good marks because this is the basic year this is the year of your foundation so you know when why this question becomes clear you know how becomes this how becomes very easy so when why becomes clear how becomes very easy so when you are clear about the understanding of the topic when you are clear about the deep uh, in-depth knowledge of each and every topic that is to be covered up in class 11 when you know that how these topics are connected to the real life situations then it will be very easy to learn them to understand them to retain them and to qualify the exams with a lot of fun so let's make learning a fun let's connect to commerce let's have the in-depth knowledge and study of the subjects that you are going to study in class 12 so i will try my level best i will help you in the subject business studies to have understanding to develop interest in that particular subject by relating these topics with the real life situations by making you learn them with the help of audio visual aids by storytelling and what more anything everything i will try to make you understand the subject and to make you learn in a better way to make learning a fun so let's connect to commerce so not wasting much of your time i will start with i will start with the syllabus of class 12 business studies okay so in business studies class 12 syllabus we are going to study this subject in two parts part a and part B part A is related to principles and functions of management 
and part b is related to business finance and marketing in total we have 12 units in these two parts in part a we have 8 units and the combined weightage of these units is 50 marks in part b we have 4 units and the combined weightage of these units is 30 marks so in total we have 12 units and we have 80 marks paper for CBSC board examination as I told you that you have to qualify CUET also in CUET the syllabus remains the same apart from some of the extra topics that we are going to cover up but the marks are 40 so in CUET for business studies you will get 50 questions and out of these 50 questions you will have to attempt 40 questions so 80 marks you have to qualify the paper for 80 marks for class 12 CBSE board examination and you have to qualify the paper for 40 marks for CUET clear now again let me explain you the details of these parts the units the name of the units that we are going to cover up the weightage of these units and what is another classification and what is another bifurcation of this part A and part B in part A we have total three volumes volume 1 volume 2 volume 3 in volume 1 we have chapters the first chapter is nature and significance of management the second unit is principles of management the third unit is business environment now from the names of the chapters itself it must be clear that this volume deals with management what is management what is the nature what are the characteristics of management what are the various principles that every management has to follow what is the environment in which every management operates so these are the three chapters uh, explaining you the basic management in volume one and the combined weightage of this volume is 16 marks then second volume unit 4 and unit 5 they are dealing with the functions of management one of the function is planning another function is organizing these two units related to the functions of management and the combined weightage of these two units is 14 marks in volume third we have unit 6 unit 7 and unit 8 they are in continuation to these two functions remaining three functions we are going to study here that is staffing and another name for the staffing is also hrm human resource management the most important management for any organization then we have directing as one of the function of management and then we have controlling also as one of the function of management so the combined weightage the most important uh, you know unit as far as the weightage is concerned that is for 20 marks so very much clear from the names of these chapters that the whole part a this part a the whole of the part a is related to management principles of management environment of the management functions of management planning organizing staffing directing controlling these are all the functions of management so whenever there is any group whenever there is a organization whether it is a small organization or a big organization so you need to manage it and in class 12 you will learn how to manage in class 11 you have learned about the various forms of business organizations and now this class 12 syllabus is dealing with the management of these types of business organizations and in unit 1 to 8 we are going to study about only the general management general management means any type of business any type of organization that is related to uh, general management so these are the very basic functions of any type of organization so this part is divided into three volumes covering eight units in these volumes now come to part b in part b we have volume four 
and volume 5. In volume 4, we have unit 9 and 10 that deals with financial management. It is also related to management, but now a specific area is added to that management that is financial management, that is management of funds. And then chapter 10 is related to financial markets. So chapter 9 and 10 they are related to funds they are related to management of finance and the markets where these funds are there so and the combined weightage of these two unit is 15 marks last volume has unit 11 and unit 12 in unit 11 we are going to study about marketing management and consumer protection so these two chapters deal with the management again but another specific field is added here that is marketing and marketing is definitely related to consumer so marketing and its elements that we are going to study about in volume 5 and that is also for 15 marks and from the name of the chapters it must be clear to you that this part b deals with the specific management which i told you that part a deals with the general management part d deals with the specific management so in total in these five volumes we are going to learn about management of people management of funds and management of markets these are the very very important areas for any management and out of these people are the most important so management of people as you can see we are going to cover up in this unit 6 earlier there was a separate chapter of hrm in part b but now it is clubbed with unit 6 in the part a itself so management of people we are going to learn in part a and management of funds and markets we are going to study in part b management of funds and management of market so i hope that i have familiarized you with the complete syllabus unit wise volume wise weightage wise that what is the distribution of marks what are the various chapters what what we are going to learn why we are going to learn and when you have a clarification of all these things how will become very easy commerce i am going to make easy for you by making it learn in a fun way and making you understand and by connecting to commerce so let's connect to commerce